Hey guys, it's Emmanuel here, The Enthusiast Dakota, and today I have a really cool video for you guys, and it's going to be the top 5 3D games that I think that are really cool, that showcase 3D, and make it look really cool in Scratch. There are a few ground rules, well, not really, but one, it has to be a smart way that they try to do it so that they could use 3D. So a smart technique that they used to make the 3D work. And second thing is that it has to be in Scratch, obviously. And yeah, in a very particular order, based on how I feel about it, let's get into it. Also, please remember that I like all of the projects and I couldn't go off over every 3D project because there's plenty more and if you like videos like this please comment down below if you want more of them because that'll always help me. Also if you like the video please subscribe if you want to and without further ado let's get into the video. Okay so now here's the first one on the list this is number five and it's Batman. Literally the scratch game Batman, not the movie Batman. And basically if we go into this, it shows the instructions. Here is the cloud theme. It doesn't show the cloud theme here, but this is the cloud. It shows the world's best, so the best score. And yeah, so here's the instructions and let's click to start. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can see that the way they do it is that they use like cubes and in those cubes um in those cubes they add like collision to them which is very smart it's a very smart way to do 3d graphics in a 2d space and i just love the way it's just this picture of batman on like <laughs> the corner of the screen but yeah, that's also a smart way of making a pretend 3D character. Because he still is on the screen. Uh, I think I lost. Yeah. I think so. so, if you see in the instructions, you'll see the different colors do different things. It's not realistic by any means because of that. But it's a very smart way. Because if I did something like that, I would do the exact same thing. So, let's get into the fourth best. So, this is the fourth best. It's called Minecraft V6. And it's really cool. It's Minecraft, but in Scratch. Here's all the instructions. Or oh, yeah. here. So, move to run, hold Q, look around, stuff like that. I haven't found a way to actually place blocks. Maybe it was in the instructions, but I don't know. This is a cool loading thing. I still don't understand, like, does does a scratch game need to load? I'm not sure. Maybe it just loads all the textures. But I haven't seen why they would need to, because I think it just preloads at the beginning. But yeah, it's really cool. It's so awesome how they could do such a thing like this. It's so awesome. So you get stuff like this, and... If you want the thing to be better, you could do this, and you can increase the view distance, and you can even show your FPS count, and you can choose high detail, or oh, this will make my computer very laggy, <laughs> but yeah, so you can put on settings like that, I'll turn it down because I want this thing to go work smoothly. Oh, uh, that's a lot, a lot better. So yeah, you get different blocks. I don't know how to put them down. I just know how to break. Let's see if you can dig down. Maybe you can. So sometimes they get distorted. And that's the thing. Because it's not a proper 3D engine. And it can get really hard to um, do stuff like that. But it's very cool. It's very smart. Where it starts with... Dirt, and then it goes on to, I'm not sure, I think that's gravel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a Minecraft nerd. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below what it is, I'm not sure. And that's very cool. So these are the things. 
and yeah right click does the same thing as left click yeah that's minecraft v6 it's okay so now here's the third spot and this is flip 3d and this is really cool because this is like a puzzle and it's so cool so it it does the same square thing as the first one but it just it, the way it's so simplistic and it does the thing well is the best part about it so you control using WASD or the arrow keys and it's really cool oh, I did this wrong Oof, okay let me no what am I doing Ugh. Let me do this. Ah, that's what I meant to do. I feel like the second level will be like way easier than the first one. I don't know why. Like this one's so easy. Okay, let me turn this way down. So yeah, basically the objective of the game it's like a puzzle. Oh, I'm not good at this. The objective of the game is just get into the purple hole. I mean, not a hole, purple square. And... Yes. Okay, so basically it's very simplistic. Don't go on the red squares, get it to the purple square. Don't try to go to the black sides. And that's it. It's very simplistic and that's what I really like about it. So it's simplistic, it gets the thing done. And that's the thing, because unlike the Batman one, it's probably a whole lot cooler than that, because that's more 3D. This is like asymmetric. And but the thing is that this got it right, because this could look really good as a game, because of its type of art style. But the thing is that that was like a technical showcase, so it wouldn't look really good if it was trying to advertise like that. And that's the cool part. So I really do like Flip 3D. And here we have our second to last spot and it's really cool. It's Crystal Seeker 3D platformer and you know that when it has this, you know it's probably going to be very OP. So it says this project can detect who is using it through the username block to hide your identity sign up before using the project. So mine is tech12313 and it's loading. I really don't know how these things load. So basically, Tobo Warp, if you don't know, is a kind of thing that makes projects run faster, but somehow it runs normally on our laptop. Okay, so you can choose if you want to be mobile, slow, or fast, and that's really cool. Like, that's awesome. So I wanted to run um, slow, so I can just, so it can run even, it can run even better. And let's do new game. It's cool because you have different parts. So that's basically just the story. <laughs> very interesting story. You see, like, it looks very bad there. And then when you come into it, it looks like this. Now we're talking. And it's so cool. Like, the whole thing is 3D. Like, this looks so cool. Like, it's just amazing. Ooh, it's so cool. So basically, it's like a 3D platformer. And the thing is that it does its rendering really well. It's like, it's awesome. And then there's even enemies. And they have all sizes. And stuff like that. There's really nothing wrong with this game. It's really cool. Like, it has no flaws at all. Just accept that sometimes the um, rendering distance isn't accurate. But it, it's so cool. The sounds and the jumping. Like, the jumping even has animations. Everything has animations. It's so bold. It's so vibrant. And the, graphic look, the graphics look really good. When you see it from far, it looks a whole lot better. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, so that's basically Crystal's Crystal Seeker 3D platformer um, in second place. Okay, last, but definitely, certainly not least, we have 3D City by Griffin Patch. And this is so cool. When I saw this, this was awesome. And cool thing is, this is on his YouTube channel. So even though the one we just saw in the second place was in some places a whole lot cooler than this, you can actually make it. Obviously, you can see inside projects, but it's a whole lot cooler because you can do it step by step and you can customize to your liking. So if you didn't want this to be a road, you can make it like a space area. And if you don't want this to be cars, you can make it a helicopter. And it has collision with buildings and collision with cars, different types of cars. And the 3D in this looks awesome. Like there's no sharp edges and you can even see from circular buildings that there's not really sharp buildings. There's even different controls for the different type of people. So you get normal controls and then inverted controls, if that's right. So some of the areas are wonky where, um, no, not that one. That's supposed to be right. Where some of the buildings, part of the car can face through. And yeah, so this is really cool. It's really awesome. I feel like the whole reason why the, this is really good is because you can also make it step by step by Griffin Patch on this YouTube channel. And that's a really awesome thing. So yeah, that's why I think this is first place. So let's go into the outro video. That's the entire video. Wow, that was very cool. The last one or the first one was awesome. Griffin Patch, that is really cool. If you're watching this video, well done. It's so cool how the collisions work and how it's so cool and how all the cars look just the way they work, the collision, how it's so cool. That is very really awesome. I really enjoy doing this because I actually get to play games while still kind of kind of doing something coding related because it's scratch related. But yeah, I loved it. I hope you loved it. And remember, if you like the video, please like and subscribe if you want to. And remember, have a good day. Peace.